Today, Syria is synonymous with war, famine, and refugees. It ranks last on the Global Peace Index, making it the most violent country on Earth. But historically, Syria has been one of the cultural and religious centers of the world, and home to some of civilization's great antiquities, many of which are now threatened by the fanatics of ISIS and the bombs of a relentless war. In our Sunday Spotlight, NBC's Kelly Kobiea takes us on a stunning trip to Syria to meet some of the brave people there and here in the United States trying to save the country's history. Damascus, the world's oldest city, home to some of its most precious historical sites. The Grand Mosque, once a temple to the god Jupiter, shows its Roman roots. Legend says the remains of St. John the Baptist are buried here in what was once a cathedral. These sites remarkably untouched by war. But all around this region, ancient cities and monuments are under threat like never before. We traveled outside Damascus to Palmyra, an ancient economic powerhouse where traders from the east and west would meet. Arabs, Greeks, Persians, Christians and Jews, Romans and pagans. This was Palmyra. This is how it looks today. The city made headlines in 2015 when ISIS invaded, killing locals, destroying their heritage. Museum director Mohammed al-Assad tells me he managed to escape with some of the city's famed pieces loaded in his car. But his father, an archaeologist who dedicated his life to Palmyra, stayed. His glasses are all that remain, his son told me. ISIS killed him. His body disappeared. The damage to the city he loved was monumental. Ancient arches toppled, the site's most famous temple blown up. This is what the Temple of Bell used to look like. And that's the temple now. Only the arch is still standing. And it's not just here. There are similar scenes across the region. In Yemen, the 11th century old city of Sana'a bombed. In Iraq, 3,000-year-old friezes and sculptures gone. The Buddhas of Bamiyan in Afghanistan blown up by the Taliban. UNESCO lists 54 World Heritage Sites in danger around the world, including all six in Syria. 3,000 miles away in Portland, Ohio, a history professor heard a cry for help. This damage was just ongoing and relentless. And these colleagues, friends, local people from their own communities were reaching out to anybody who would be able to answer them and say, hey, look, what can I do to help? A Syrian opposition activist, Al Azam, started a group called The Day After, whose work includes advising conservationists in war zones on how to save ancient treasures from bombs. At this museum in Idlib, Syria, they've saved early Christian mosaics from three bombing raids using nothing more than sandbags. The real heroes of the story are the guys inside, the guys who are going out risking their lives almost every day. With the help of American donors, the group is currently overseeing 10 projects. The hope that through small grassroots efforts like Al Azam's, the world's cultural heritage can be protected from Palmyra's fate until the bombs stop falling. All of these are part of a much wider, much greater history that, that represents us all. For Sunday Today, Kelly Cobiella, Palmyra.